Okay, I saw that it is 3.30, so I'm going to get started with um, our quick 20-minute demo of an extension of Run Sign Up, obviously, is Give Sign Up and some of the tools that we have to offer our nonprofit customers. Um, all right, so can everyone see uh, the Raise More, Save Time, Easy button? All right, awesome. So I am Amanda. I am lucky enough to be on the Give Sign Up sales team with Chris and Jake, who are here today, and Elizabeth, who I keep saying is like our room mom for today, um, making everything go smoothly within these, um, within our you know individual webinars. So I have been with the team since this summer, and uh, prior to that, I worked in nonprofit in a few different roles um, as the director of the Muscular Dystrophy Association and as the event manager at Susan G. Komen. Um, so it's been a really cool experience for me to now work with a lot of different nonprofits nationwide on how some of our tools and resources can help them uh, save time and raise more, as it says right here on our website. Um, so today specifically, I'm gonna talk about um, our donation forms, which we've come, come out with a new wizard to make it even easier for you to accept online donations for your nonprofit, and then get into some of the upgrades and really great features that we offer on um, what we call donation websites. And um, I think you probably all know this by now, but you can chat questions into the box and any questions that you have, we can answer as we go. This will be recorded and sent out after. And if we have a minute or two at the end, um, we can take questions then as well. So like I said, we've um, had some upgrades and updates to our um, donation forms this year. And all it takes for your nonprofit to start collecting donations online is going to givesignup.org and clicking get started free. And from here, you can create a donation form. Um, you're going to get brought into this really simple, quick donation wizard where you can input a little bit of information and literally be off to the races uh, very quickly. So today I'm going to do uh, Home at Last Animal Rescue as the donation or as the nonprofit um, that I'll be using for these um, for just for today for our, you know, the purposes of this presentation. There's some different things that you can custom, customize within the form. Um, you can have the starting and ending donations. If you wanted to do a donation form specifically for, um, you know, like Giving Tuesday or a capital campaign, you can customize when you want those donations to be accepted. And you can also customize the messaging that you're giving. Or you can have, you know, the general donate button that's alive at all times on your website available to have some generic uh, information about your nonprofit. You can determine um, if you wanna take one time or recurring donations and if they are recurring, how often they're recurring. And you can um, also customize the levels to which you are asking for donations for. Um, so in this case, I'll just leave the ones that are pre-populated and uh, get to the next step, which is just gonna be further customize the branding of your nonprofit. Um, so I know Chris said that comparison is the thief of joy, but I would say that, you know, in comparison to a lot of other options for nonprofits to, to, to collect online donations, where it's, you know, maybe PayPal's branding or somebody else's branding, with Give Sign Up, you can customize this a lot more so that the focus is really on your branding, um, which obviously is where we want to go. We want to make sure that people feel really good and trusted that the donations that are being made are going to, um, to your, directly to your nonprofit. Another way you can customize is at the end of a donation, you can redirect your donors somewhere else. So maybe you wanna go to the, um, your no donation or your nonprofit's website in that case. Um, you can also customize the theme, which we saw Chris do. Uh, you can take one of the themes that we already have available to you, or you could add in, you know, the hex codes to your color scheme of your nonprofit to make sure that that branding is continued. And from here, you're just going to be asked to set up your payment account. If you have a payment account with run sign up or give sign up, you can add it in directly, um, or you can choose to set it up later, which I know Chris showed um, to send it to an email to the CFO of your nonprofit, 
or somebody else that's going to be able to put in the in financial information you need. Um, and this is also where you can select how you want the processing fees to be taken care of. So with our donation forms and websites, it is the 4% fee that you can choose to um, pass along or come out of the charge or split. And for now, I'm just gonna put this in test mode and um, save it. And then you'll see that you have already finished your donation form um, within you know, a few minutes. So it's just a really nice, clean, easy way to, to collect donations for your nonprofit um, that looks great and has a lot of different customizable features. So this is the you know, clean, easy donation form. And that's great if you're looking to do something quick. Um, and then you also will have the option once you've completed the form to look at your dashboard and go to free upgrade. And what we mean when we say you can have a donation form or you can upgrade for free is that you can take advantage of some of the other features that we have on Give Sign Up uh, to really continue to engage with your supporters. So I'm not going to walk through how exactly to um, change your to, to do a donation website. It's going to be pretty similar to what you've probably seen um, with some of the other demos today. And I know Chris kind of showed us how to do a cover page, but this would just be having a, an extension of your donation form would be a website with the option to have a cover page. So as you can see here, you know, I've uploaded a little um, banner that has some more of our branding on here. Um, we have more information about what Home at Last Animal Rescue is looking to do. You can customize these buttons. There's a lot of sticky donate buttons on this page for people to really have a call to action to drive people to make donations. Um, you can learn more, which would be, again, you can take send that anywhere um, that you think will be good for your nonprofit. And we have dynamic donation goals. So maybe for the year of 2021, you wanna raise $10,000. This is gonna be updated in real time um, so that your supporters can see how you're doing and how they can really make an impact into your nonprofit. Um, so, Let's say that uh, I am, I look at this website and I wanna make a donation. Um, so I'm gonna kind of take you through what the user experience would be for someone making a donation on one of Give Sign Up's donation websites. Um, so here I go in and I am just gonna make a general donation. I can choose one of the pre-populated ones or maybe I'll just make a $60 one-time donation to Home at Last Animal Rescue. and. One of the things we really wanted to focus on today are the options that the Give Sign Up team has, um, has put in for our nonprofits to be able to really steward and cultivate their donors. And the way that you do that is by building trust and giving options to donors to feel super fulfilled with the donations that they're making. So in this case, I am going to donate $60 and I'm going to choose to dedicate it to somebody. Um, so I want to dedicate this donation to my friend Kat because she loves animals. She loves shelters. This is where she got her dog and her birthday's coming up. So I'm going to donate $60 on her behalf to Home at Last Animal Shelter. And I'm going to now have a few options for how I can kind of commemorate this gift. I can choose to um, honor select this box, which says that the nonprofit is going to mail a card to the honoree to let them know that a gift was made on their behalf. And if you do, you know, it's, it's going to force you to put that recipient's name and information in. And then as the nonprofit, you can pull those reports every day or every week or every month so that those cards can get sent out. Um, or you can send an e-card. And this is a really cool new function that has just been added. And, um, I think that this is going to be really compelling to supporters to be able to make donations to their favorite nonprofits, especially if they're making it on behalf of somebody. So as I go in here and I'm making this contribution in Kat's name to her favorite charity, I can also choose a design of the e-card. And maybe it's a design that has been pre-populated um, in here. Or what has just rolled out this week, I believe, um, are these customizable e-cards that, again, give another option for you to show your branding on the nonprofit side. 
So as you can see here, this gift for you card has Home at Last Animal Rescues um, branding. And this e-card is going to go to Kat so that she knows that, you know, um, this donation was made on her behalf. So I can enter some information, put her name in. I can specify a message, um, you know, happy birthday. I'm the best friend you've ever had. I made a donation in your honor. Um, and soon what we're going to have here, which is really, really cool, is not only are you going to be able to send this customized, you know, you know, are your supporters going to be able to send customized e-cards to the honorees, they're going to be able to schedule the emails to be sent when um, is an appropriate time for them. So in this case, if Kat's birthday is in April, I can make this donation, but I can schedule the email to go to her on her birthday. So she can wake up and see what a generous, wonderful friend I am. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, that's a really cool update that I think is coming really soon to be able to schedule those e-cards, um, which I know everybody on the Give Sign Up team is excited about. And then to kind of just walk you through the rest of the registration path, um, you know, the donors are going to be able to, I wanted to make sure that they have the option to cover the fee or not, uh, put in some payment information. This is a, um, a test site. So these are, this is dummy information. And when they go ahead and make their payment, it's going to um, allow me to continue to brag about how wonderful I am by sharing it on Facebook or posting it somewhere else. And, um, and then uh, you have, again, this really cool, nice branding option um, with the nonprofit's information on here. So we're excited about some of these updates, especially with the e-cards and the customization. And um, we are really looking forward to people taking advantage of that. Um, and then just to show you quickly what the dashboard looks like on the back end, where some of the customizations take place. Um, so within the donation setup, this is where you can customize, you know, the levels and what those levels mean. And within the tribute information is where you can enable or not enable some of the honorary information. So maybe you don't want to mail things out, you can turn this off. Um, if you do want to enable e-cards, you would do it here. If you want to be able to pick their, have them pick their own e-cards to send, you can. And um, this is where, again, you can continue to customize the e-cards that the that your donors are seeing if they're making a donation in honor of someone. So maybe this is a donation that is just driving for birthdays, like you're doing a birthday donation campaign and you only want birthday cards available. You can swap any of these e-cards in or out to see what you are gonna have displayed. Um, and then similarly, you this is where you can customize these. So I might wanna choose um, a new customized birthday card uh, that I'm gonna include on here. And this one is a happy birthday animal rescue card that again has you know the nonprofits branding. So you can choose to only have these available for people. Um, so it's just a really cool, like nice feature that um, Give Sign Up has added for your audiences and for your supporters. A um, couple other things to mention on our donation websites are the summary emails that you can choose to get. So uh, from the nonprofit side, you can determine how often you want to get donation summary emails, uh, what time. If you have a threshold of donations that you want to make sure you know about, maybe if every time somebody makes a $500 donation or more, you want to get an email immediately so you can start to cultivate and steward those, don you know, maybe a little bit higher donor, uh, you can do that. And I think any option for nonprofits to like set it and forget it is just going to be really helpful in our mantra of saving time and raising more. And you can also decide who gets these. So maybe, you know, I get them, the CFO gets them. You can determine how many recipients you want to get these emails. Uh, similarly, you can add your tax deductible information. Uh, Give Sign Up will send a donation confirmation email directly to the person who makes the donation. And as long as you have your tax ID number in there, 
you really don't need to do anything further uh, to make sure that you're make, you know, let, letting the donor know that that confirmation has been received. And we all, again, we just do all these things to hopefully make nonprofit, um, nonprofit lives easier within here. Uh, we do have a uh, double the donation integration that's free to use. If you have an account with double the donation, you can do corporate matching. And we have Facebook fundraising, which I'll get into a little bit. You can add manual donations. So if you are doing um, a campaign and you want to get to that $10,000 for the year, but somebody sent in a check, you can add that on the back end. So it's reflected in your goal. And of course, the reporting is really robust as well. Um, I think run sign up and give sign up have always been leaders in the way that they um, offer reporting to their customers. And the next thing I wanna get into, I know I only have a couple minutes left, is the fundraising campaigns that we offer. So the difference between a fundraising campaign and a donation, just a general donation, is allowing your supporters to fundraise on your behalf. So if you have really great supporters that wanna solicit their friends and family for money as well for donations, you can set up a fundraising campaign. Um, so I'm going to switch to this example, which is a Friends of Rittenhouse Square fundraising campaign that I have um, on another test. And in this case, this is a park and they are going to do a park bench plaque fundraising campaign. So you can, if you raise or donate $1,000, you can get a plaque on a bench and you can customize that information in this fundraising campaign, which there are, you can have as many fundraising campaigns on Give Sign Up as you'd like. You can have um, dynamic goals just specifically to each fundraising campaign. You can change the icons to further customize it. And then another new feature that's just come out are these campaign slideshows. So we're, we're focused on making sure that these targeted efforts are really you know, being made so that supporters feel like they have a part in this park bench plaque fundraising campaign. And you can upload these, um, these slideshows to reflect your campaign. Um, in this case, there are two fundraisers. One of them is myself and one of them is my dog because he decided he wanted a um, park bench as well because he loves the park. Um, and he updated his section about fundraising to say that he loves the grass the squirrels, um, the balls, and the fire hydrants that are at the park, and he'd really love your donation so that he can have his own bench. Um, he also uploaded a picture of himself with his favorite person, uh, which of course is myself, and he uploaded his own slideshow, uh, which has, again, a few of his favorite things being squirrels and balls and fire hydrants. Um, so really, this is just a really nice way to allow your supporters to customize their own pages so that they feel super connected to this fundraiser and it's personal to them and they can go to their friends and family and explain why um, with both these you know slideshows their I, their picture um, what they have to say about your mission and they can set their own goals as well and that can all be managed within here uh, for your fundraisers so they can up their goal if they meet it they can change their messaging and upload pictures and then this really cool new slideshow feature as well. And one of the most important things about fundraising campaign is that there is also free Facebook fundraising available on fundraising campaigns. So if your nonprofit has Facebook fundraising that can be lim linked to people's Facebook uh, to their fundraising campaigns on give sign up as well. Um, I don't let Levi have Facebook because of parental controls but I could link my own Facebook page to my fundraising campaign so that the, the donations made on Facebook are reflected in my goal as well. So I think that's what I had to share today. There's been so many awesome new updates that Give Sign Up has done. So we are excited to show some of those to everybody today. I don't know if we have time for questions. I feel like I, that was 20 minutes. We only had about two questions and they, we answered them in the chat. Um, so I think I think you might be good to go, but good job. Give yourself a pat, drink some water, take a pat on the back. You nailed it. Thanks. Well done. Well, thanks. <laughs> That's fun. I think there's only one session left and then the town hall with Bob. So um, we're nearing the end. Thanks for listening. Thanks, Amanda. Yes, we will take uh, one more break here and then we'll be back for um, advanced payment account reporting.
So you guys can stick around for that um, or go to a different room. We will be back in 10 minutes.